Salini and Belisi, we're here to explain to you the basic grammar of an English sentence. Okay, we need we need some terms in order to be able to teach you Greek, and we don't assume that you know anything. Okay, um, even if you know it, this might be interesting for you. So Belisi's written down on the on the iPad a, a simple sentence: the boy gave the girl a wilted flower. Okay. Um, the key concepts that we want to teach you about this that occur in this sentence are uh, a subject, a direct object, um, an indirect object, and a predicate. So subject, let's do this order. Subject, predicate, or verb, or, or main verb, predicate, direct object, and indirect object. So the subject is, is the focal point of a sentence, okay? I mean, it's what the word subject means in English. And in a sentence like this, the boy gave the girl a wilted flower, the boy is the focal point, okay? It's, it's, where, it's where the action is initiating in this case, but it doesn't have to be that way. For example, you could recast this sentence in another way and say, a wilted, a wilted flower was given by the boy to the girl, and then a wilted flower would be the subject of the sentence, okay? Even though it's not doing anything, it's being given, okay? But it's not doing any active process, right? So, <clears throat> so in, in English sentences, the, the first, in English direct sentences, not in questions, but in a regular de declarative sentence, so-called declarative or direct sentences, the first noun in the sentence is the subject, comes first. And, um, and generally speaking, what comes next is the, is the predicate or the verb, as in this sentence. Number two is gave, okay? That's the verb, that's the action that's happening in the sentence, or it can be describing a state or something like that, or a process, but that's what a verb is, okay? In the case of the boy, we're talking about a noun, subjects are nouns, okay, mm -hmm. which are, which are persons, places, or things, okay? Chair is a noun, book is a noun, cup is a noun, person is a noun, um, whereas a, a verb is a thing that describes an action or a state, like give, teach, uh, fade away, stuff like that, sing. Those are verbs, okay? So we've got two other nouns in this sentence. We've got boy, that's our subject, we said, and girl, that's a noun, and so is flower a noun, okay? Um, boy, girl, and flower are nouns, and we, we only have one subject in a sentence. Sometimes you can have two subjects, but then you say the boy and his mother gave the girl a wilted flower, mm -hmm. okay? You, ha you have to coordinate them, okay, with a, with a word that, like and. Um, in this case, we've only got one subject, that's the boy, and we've got two other nouns. There's the girl and the flower, which happens to be a wilted flower. What part of speech is wilted? Okay, we've got nouns and verbs, and wilted is a yet another category called an adjective, which is a modifier, a uh, so-called modifier of a noun. It, it says something to say, uh, you know, what, what uh, to define it in a particular way. That's what we mean when we say a modifier. That, that restricts or defines what the noun, is, which noun we're talking about. So it's a wilted flower. It could be a green flower. That would be a, a modifier as well. It could be uh, a broken flower, stuff like that. Those are all adjectives describing a noun and limiting it. Okay, so so if we've got, we, we got the other two terms. So we talked about a subject and a predicate. We've got a direct object and an indirect object. So if you're looking at this sentence, and you had to guess which is the direct object and which is the indirect one, what would you say? What's the object that corresponds to the subject and that's direct, a direct object, okay? The boy gave the girl a wilted flower. I think it's tricky, okay? Um, and I think you, you might answer girl or you might answer flower, okay? In this case, it's flower um, because you can... One way to tell is you can recast this sentence into a form. The boy gave the girl a wilted flower. The boy gave the, a, a wilted flower to the girl. Excuse me. Okay, so the to the girl 
it's no longer, it's clear that the thing that's really being acted on is the flower, okay? And the girl is, uh, is, is an accessory, so to speak, to the action, and is therefore an indirect object. This is a standard kind of sentence. That's a, it, it's even a, a sentence with a verb to give. It's even a standard kind of sentence for ancient Greeks, okay? The terminology that the Greeks used to describe these different things is very similar to ours, and it even features words that, that, that imply that the way you, that the, the standard sentence with an indirect object is the one that involves giving, <laughs> okay? Right. So, so these are the three, uh, the four basic things we need to understand. What's the subject of a sentence? What's the predicate? That's gave. What's the direct object? To repeat, that's the wilted flower, a wilted flower. And a is just another kind of adjective. Um, and in the indirect object, the girl. And girl, and the is another kind of adjective like a. They're different. We'll learn about them, more about them soon. Okay? And that's the basic grammar that we are going to want to practice. And you can, and you can, see how this would work in all kinds of other simple sentences, okay? Um, more complex sentences have more complex grammar to them, but we all, all we need now is something simple.